Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here and in this video I'll show you how to unlock your Samsung phone if you have forgotten the password, pattern or pin code. Ok guys, so we've all done it. We've just set up a pin or a passcode on our Samsung device and we can't remember what it was. The unlock method I'm about to show you is called factory reset and it will remove the password pattern or pin code but the downside is it will also wipe the data on the phone. Remember that the pin or passcode is set up to protect the data on the phone in case you lose the phone so I suggest you try to remember the pin code or password first before you try this method. A tip that can help you remember the passcode or the pattern is put your, put your phone down for 30 minutes, don't think about it and then come back and try your uh, passcode or your pattern again. Sometimes your muscle memory will just remember the pattern or the passcode without you actually needing to think about it. And this has actually worked for me once before. Okay, the next thing I need to mention is FRP lock, factory reset protection. FRP lock locks your device with the Google account that you used on your phone. So if you don't know your Google account, then I suggest you try to remember it first before doing this factory reset. Just so you know what Google account I'm talking about, if you were able to log into your phone, then you would find the Google account under settings, under cloud, and accounts and then under accounts again and it would be this Google account here. So just try to remember what that was before going through uh, with the factory reset. Okay guys so let's get started with the reset. So you're going to need to just hold down your home button and bring up the uh, restart menu and we're going to just press restart and restart again. We're going to hold down the top volume button the home power, home and power button and then we're going to let go, once that Android logo comes up we're going to let go of the, vo the top volume button and we should get this screen that comes up here now saying installing system update and then it'll come up saying no command so this is the part here where we can do our factory reset so I'll try and get a close up of that there okay so you can see we've got a few options here now, reboot system now Reboot to bootloader, apply update, apply update, wipe data forward slash factory reset and then it says if your phone is reset you may need to enter the Google account information, email address and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. Now this is the FRP lock that I mentioned earlier so just make sure you have those details. If you don't just go back up to reboot system now, hit your power button and that will take you back out of this screen. However, we're going to go ahead with the, the wipe data and factory reset and we're going to hopefully get past that uh, pattern screen, pattern pin password lock screen. We're just going to press our power button to go to the next menu and it says do you want to wipe all this data? This cannot be undone. We're just going to use our volume down button to go down to yes and then we're going to hit our power button again to select it. Alright then we've got the next step there. It says reboot system now so we're just going to hit our power button again and it should restart our phone after the wipe. Okay, so the phone's restarted now and you can see we don't have our uh, pin code, our pattern or our password lock anymore. We can just hit start and we can enter in our password uh, for our Wi-Fi. Alright, agree to the terms and conditions and agree again. Now this is the FRP lock that I was talking about. If you've previously had your Google account on your phone then it won't allow you to have this skip button but because I turned the Google account off uh, before I did the factory reset it's allowing me to just press skip and, and go next. So otherwise you'll need to enter in your Google uh, account that's associated with your phone. Skip again, set up your date and time which is all okay, put in your name, next. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the fingerprint pin at the moment, hit skip, skip anyway. Turn off these Google services that you don't need or if you want to keep them on you can keep them on. Scroll down and skip the Samsung Cloud 
You can restore data if you've got restore, but we don't have any at this stage. We're just going to go next. All right, and then finish. All right, and we've managed to get back into our phone without the pin code, without the pat pattern swipe, or without the password lock. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it from me. If this was a helpful video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.